I've had quite a few people ask me how I do my covers for my videos. So I'm gonna show you two ways. This actually is a cover video and you can see it is a full square. And then these are my typical video covers or thumbnails, if you will. And you can see they're a little bit more horizontal. I'm gonna show you how to make both using Canva. Let's head over to Canva. Now you can use the free Canva. I can't tell you what's in the free Canva versus the pro Canva because I've been a pro user for so long. I have not been in a free account in years, like years and years. And I highly recommend that you buy and invest in the pro Canva because there's so many things about pro that make it well worth its price in gold. We're gonna look for a YouTube thumbnail. This is the main thumbnail that we're gonna make. So we're gonna make a thumbnail similar to something like this. So something that's a bit more of a traditional thumbnail. So for that, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna search under create design. You're gonna search YouTube thumbnail and we'll go into that thumbnail. This is what you're gonna get. The great thing about Canva is they have all of these templates that you can use. If you are not a super creative person or if you're stuck or if you're, you know, in a hurry, which is a lot of what I am, I'll go ahead and I'll use, you know, like this, something that I've used in the past. At the top over here, you'll see on this left-hand side templates and then style. I've already loaded my brand kit style. This is a pro feature, but this is one of the things I love is I have several brands of my own that I manage, but also I do brands for my clients. So this is basically my, my agency's colors. This one is another color combo for a different brand that I own. Then this is what I use for all my Amazon stuff. So we're gonna do this one right here. I can just keep clicking on it till I like the aesthetic of it. And that just makes it super easy. Now, the only change that I would make here, let's go through this one more time, is instead of white, I would change it up. I like to throw a little yellow in there, this nice golden color that I use quite often just to make it a little bit punchier. Now in this block right here where this picture is, I can put my brand photo. So over here I've uploaded various photos and I can drop those in. So let's say I'm doing this steam cleaner, I could throw that in. So then I can click over here and I have text. If I don't have text here, you can easily add text just by hitting the T on your keyboard and a text box will show up. Then I can make that bigger and we can go up here and change up the text. You could search, there's a lot of great texts in here. Make sure it's easy to read when it's small. So if we go look at my thumbnails, you know, these are, even when I'm using more of a script, you could see it, it's very easy to read the text and you don't want it to be too wordy, okay? So we're just gonna say ultimate. Now, instead of doing enter and writing and then enter and writing, what I like to do just to give myself more control over the design is if I wanna put, you know, lines of text, I'm gonna copy and paste this and copy and paste this. And then I'll have three text box that I can play with and really make my own. So ultimate, and then we're gonna go steam. And then we could say steam cleaner or steam machine. Let's do cleaner. That seems to be something that a lot of people might search. And then if I wanna size this different, I have a couple ways I can do that. I could click on the box and I could size it here, however I want it to look. I can also click on the box and I can go up here and I can size it here. So I could go to, let's say 72, there we go. And then I can make this one 72 and I can make this one 72. I actually would love to make this something like the ultimate, right? That looks good. All right. So ultimate, and then I don't like this at all. So we're going to go down here. We'll choose this one. So I have here is my text and then we're going to change the color. It's selected here. We'll go up to the color and I go white, meh, yellow, love it. So this would be my thumbnail and I am all set and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna show you some more tricks in the next one, which is going to be, let's make a thumbnail like this one right here, which is a square. And this is what I would do more for my vertical video. Whereas for my horizontal video, I'm gonna do this traditional thumbnail that I just showed you. But for my vertical video or portrait, I wanna do more of a square like this. And that is actually the recommendations by Amazon. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go back to Canva and you can look up, what I usually do is just Instagram, a square post. And then this is what you're gonna get here. Then again, you can use the templates. You can also go in and find the designs that you've made in the past. So if I go down here on the side here, there should be one that says projects that'll work, designs up here and it'll show me what I've made in the past. So here's the one I just made, but I don't wanna use that one. So we'll go to the one I just made for you guys. So this is the one I just made. And now all I have to do is kind of size it 
So maybe I'm doing one that's for vertical and one that is for horizontal for the same product. Well, let's say I want to change up this photo here and I don't want it to be with the background. So I want it to look more like this, where it has this nice honey pot situation. So let me show you how I made this specific thing. And so we're gonna just go into our thing here, right? So it looks like this. And we have different elements here. So we're gonna go over to the elements. Let's look up square again. And we want under this one, instead of graphics, we actually want it to be under the actual shape. And it sounds weird, but it is different. So graphics don't have as much flexibility in the way they move. Whereas if I select this, you'll notice that I can, you know, change the shape up a little bit. So we're gonna make it more, more vertical here. And I'm gonna widen it and let's change the background. By selecting the background, I'm gonna change this color to the blue that I used up here. And then we're gonna change this box to the white that I'm using. Again, this make it your own. And you see this little circle down here? I'm just gonna go boop, like that and kind of fill in the sides here. Bring it all the way down and we're gonna bring it all the way over here. All right, so wherever you want that to land. You see, I have it kind of like that. So the next thing I wanna do is let's put in our honey pot. So I'm gonna go over to my images and select the image that I wanna use. You see it has this background and I don't want that background. So this is a pro feature. This is again why I think Canva Pro is the way to go. We're gonna go up here where it says edit image and we're gonna to go to BG removers. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to remove the background for us. Boom, just like that, great. Now you'll notice here I have this kind of cool white outline, which I think is a really nice way to make it pop. So we're gonna again, make sure that the image is selected and we'll go up here where it says shadows. I'm gonna select the glow. There's a nice little glow, but that's not what we want. So we're gonna click on this again where you see like the little controls on glow and we are going to remove transparency, remove the blur, change the color to white and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I like usually to use like an eight or a 10 or something. It's like way too big, but yeah, like eight looks nice. There you go. So there's that nice effect. So now we're gonna add our text and our little icons here. So here is my image. We're gonna just, again, you could just hit, you know, T on your keyboard or you can go to text and you could just add a text box like that. And we are gonna say cutest and I'm gonna bring that whoop, over here. You can see I have a different font, so we're gonna change the font to the font that I used. It could be used any font you want, but this is the font. You see it's all caps, we don't want that. We're gonna go up here where it's all uppercase, click on that, there you go. And we're gonna change the color to yellow. I think the yellow looks really good with this blue too. And you could do text effects. I did not do text effects here, but if you want, you go to effects and you know, you can make like a little shadow. I think that's a little sloppy. This is cute with like, it pops out a little bit with a little shadow, so maybe we'll keep that, I like it. So we're gonna bring that up here, give it some nice room. This one's a little bigger than this one. So maybe I wanna make it bigger and drag it down a little bit and bring it over. And you know, where do I want it? You play with this all you want. And then we have another text box. So again, I'm gonna hit T. We're gonna say honey pot. And this one is in white. So we will add white, just like the little contrast here, you know? And now this is a little too cramped. I don't want it too cramped. So we're gonna make that a little smaller, bring it down just a little bit, and you know, that's pretty good. I wanna add a little something else. I could leave it like this, but I kinda like these little flourishes, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Elements, and I am going to search B, and there's my B, so we're gonna go in here. And I just like scroll down until I found one that I liked. Which one did I use? I think it was kinda like this one. This was slightly different. It's this one right here that I used. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. I will put it where I want it, which in this case was kind of like right there. Let's bring this down just a little bit more. We could change the color of this specific icon or this image. Not all of the image can change color, but we're gonna select it, go up here, and we'll make it yellow, make it pop. All right, so then I'm like, ah, this is really heavy over here, but there's nothing that weighs it down. So I want a little something over here. So I have a little heart here, which is cute. And I wanna put a little heart here. I can also do like a little, if I don't wanna do a heart, you know, something like that would be cute, but I'm gonna do a heart because I like it. So we can take our little heart here, put it in the corner. You see I had it in the corner here. We're gonna change that color to, again, the yellow and boom. So there you go. That's pretty much the whole, bring it down just slightly. All right, so the whole image right there. Another thing I could do is I could, you know, add like these little honeycombs here and, you know, just add something like this, go to position, put it in the back and I could even change the color. Let's say I wanna make this, like this yellow color. And I could leave it like that, or I can even make it a little bit transparent so it's almost 
disappearing. So that's another effect that I could do. I don't really want to do that, but there you go. So that's how I made my square. And then if I want to export it, I'm just go to share and I'm going to go to down. I personally like to do the JPEG, but you could do PNG. JPEGs are just smaller files. And in this case, I want a smaller file. It really doesn't matter. Either of these are fine. And then you'll select the page you want to download and you'll click done and you'll click download and you'll save it. And then you can go to, let's go to my storefront and you would go to your videos and upload that. Now, if you want to upload the thumbnails over your videos that like this video doesn't have a thumbnail yet, then I can go into manage content, go to video, and I would just select the video that doesn't like this one right here. I would click on manage and I would go to the thumbnail and I would upload the thumbnail right there. Now, once you do that, I'm gonna say cancel for now, it will resubmit it for approval. So just keep that in mind, it will be taken out of your storefront for a little while. It usually is back up pretty quick. For instance, I uploaded the change to this one. I added the thumbnail yesterday and it's already back to being published. So it's good to go.